Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about one of our very own, Cameron Chaney or book movie guy as uh, most of YouTube knows him as under, as under, whatever. <laughs> His name's Cameron Chaney. Uh, he's a booktuber. Um, he's one of my inspirations for starting my own channel. Uh, long before I even considered starting my own channel, uh, I, I watched Cameron all the time, I watched Adam Cesar, I watched a couple other people, but those were the two that really inspired me, Todd the Librarian, um, those, those guys were the ones who inspired me to start my own channel, um, especially Cameron, because it seemed like any time, even before I was subscribed to him, any time I went looking for, like, reviews or books or, you know, looked for a certain type of book, Cameron's videos were always popping up. Um, so it was only natural that I ended up coming across, uh, his novella, There Are Monsters Here, which I do not have a physical copy of. I'm not even sure that there are physical copies. But uh, I'll leave the ebook cover right here. So I went ahead and grabbed the ebook copy. Uh, I will link to that down there in the doobly doo so you guys can grab your own copy. And I highly suggest that you do. Um, just like any other review, I'm going to do the non spoiler stuff at the front. And then I'm going to talk about spoilers, which there aren't too many. Um, but I am going to do a spoiler section at the end for those of you guys who have read it or for those of you guys that don't care about spoilers. First and foremost, you can tell right off the bat as soon as you jump into this that you are dealing with an author who loves to read. Um, there's a certain, not, not differential, there's a, there's a certain uh, use of language, a certain use of uh, verbiage, words, word choice, that kind of thing that can only come from having read so much and you can tell Cameron is an avid reader based solely on the way he writes. Uh, one thing that really struck me, um, that stood out, was there was a strong, strong middle grade, uh, almost, almost a, not goosebumps, but almost a fear streak quality to the writing um, that I, that I appreciated. Uh, it it is it does end up being a little more gruesome than say something like a Fear Street, but uh, I I feel like the uh, the voice was it, it wasn't that it was innocent it was that it was uh, it, it was very easy to read uh, uh, there was a certain flow to it um, once again I don't want to call it like you know simple or anything like that but once you get in there it's a very uh, almost like he's 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 talking to you there there's a very uh down to earth quality about the writing that i appreciated um and there's also a more of a, a scary stories to tell in the dark vibe to it there's a fear street quality to it um and yes cameron does wear his inspirations on his sleeve a little bit i feel um another thing is there was a lot of subtext at least there was subtext as, as i i felt for um other things that I'll go into in the spoiler section. Uh, so everything that you're reading, I don't feel that that's everything to be said about this book. Yes, there is a story about Chris, uh, the boy who who grows up with a family who has their own monsters. Each one of them has their own monster. Um, there's also there's there's problems with the family itself. Uh, problems with alcoholism. There's, there's so many different issues going on. It's a multi multi-layered story, and I appreciated that. Um, another thing is this manuscript was insanely clean for an indie small press. I think he released it independently for an independent book. He did say that he has a, he has an editor, so I commend him for that. Um, but it's extremely clean. There was also several passages that I felt the need to highlight for the good um, and that's another thing I really do with indie books um, very rare that I stop and go damn that's some poignant shit and that's I did that at least three times within the first couple of pages I will say as a criticism uh, the second half of the story was not as strong um, as far as the writing was concerned it was not as, it was still as clean but it wasn't as strong um, there toward the end. It's almost as if he traded off a uh, theme for writing. Um, and what I mean by that is, uh, in the second half of the book, he goes deeper into the thematic elements of the story. 
Um, whereas what his monster is, you know, that, that kind of thing, um, and it goes a little bit deeper into that. And I think the writing took a back seat. I've spoken to Cameron since, uh, and I even offered to beta read any future projects for him. Um, he's taken me up on the offer, so hopefully I can help him create the best possible uh, product because uh, he's going to be releasing a short story collection, and this uh, story, there there are monsters here. I always want to say there were monsters. There are monsters here will be included in that, which is going to be awesome. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, uh, getting my hands on that one. Um, he, he even said himself, and I spoke to him, he, he feels that the second half of the story it has a lot of clunky writing. I wouldn't really call it clunky. I would just say that it's not as polished and refined as some of the earlier stuff. Uh, there, I did find throughout the entire story, I did find two errors. I talked to Cameron about this and he's going to fix it. Um, I did find two errors, but the, re the only reason I bring this up is because it's an independent uh, published story. I only found two errors. There was one uh, awkwardly worded sentence, but I ain't even worried about that. He's going to clean all this stuff up anyways. Um, but those those two errors and uh, awkward wording in something that I would guess is about 15,000 words, maybe, it's probably a little bit less than that, um, maybe even more. Let me know, Cameron, if you want to. Um, you message me if you don't want to make it public. But for, for that many words, for it to be this clean and it to be an independent first release, debut kind of thing for, the, for, um, for Cameron, it was amazing. Um, I'm going to give the story... Uh, the writing, everything as a whole, three stars. Um, and the reason for that is, is I see a lot of potential in him. Um, I see him going places with this. But, of course, the thing does need a little more work. Um, and he's going to go back and clean it up. He's going to work on it some more, that, that kind of thing. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to what he comes up with next because I only foresee growth coming um, from, from this point on for him. And I'm fascinated to see where he goes with that career. Um, it's always a pleasant surprise to come across indie stuff. And I was scared. I was worried. I'm, I'm not going to lie. The only reason it took me this long to pick it up is because I was worried that I was going to open it up and it maybe not be up to the quality of, like, you know, Cameron's channel. I should have known better. The dude obviously um, has a certain level of quality, uh, a level of standards um, that, you know, a lot of people don't have, just based on the content that he puts up on YouTube. Um, so, have you guys read uh, There Are Monsters Here? <laughs> Sorry, I, the, the title messes me up every time. There Are Monsters Here by Cameron Chaney. Let me know down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye! Okay, so, spoilers for There Are Monsters Here. Um, maybe it is There Were Monsters Here. I don't... <laughs> man, not, now I'm questioning myself. I just looked it up before I, I did this video. Um, I just finished it yesterday. Man, I am... Uh, I'm sorry if, <laughs> if I got the title wrong over and over again, um, Cameron, if you're watching this, which you probably will. Um, but... <laughs> I'm sorry if I got the title wrong. I apologize. My head is not in the proper place right now. Um, so, but some of the, talking about spoilers, uh, there was uh, the bit at the end where there's an allusion to the love, in, the monster becoming the love interest, or the monster being the love interest. That I love that part. I love how, uh, the, the great part about short stories or novelettes like this, um, I wouldn't really call this one a novella. Um, because it is so short. Uh, I don't know how many pages it was, but on the Kindle edition, it was only uh, 420 some odd. I don't know how exactly that works, but you know that big number down there? Um, not the percentage, but like the, I guess it's the line number. How many lines are in it? I don't know. Um, it was only 420. So, um, blaze it. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, the, it's, it's odd to find such a deep experience um, from th this type of, of story, and I, I mean that I, I mean that in the best possible way. It's kind of like uh, with uh, Chad Lutsky. I did not expect the quality that I that I got when I got when I read Chad Lutsky's uh, stories and books. And with Cameron Cheney, while I I did expect a certain level of quality because he is a reader, 
Um, it was also taken aback by just how good it was. And the subtext, hang on, my, my, my leg's itching. Um, the subtext for this story was, was terrific. Um, I was able to, um, anyways, I was talking about the length because you can leave things like that open for the reader to figure out on their own. Um, but I still think that they're, they're cemented. It was supposed to be the love interest of the main character, Chris. Um, and I appreciated that it wasn't, uh, my hand wasn't held and he just kind of alluded uh, to who or what the monster had changed into there at the end. Also, that I really appreciated how brutal this was. Um, it's very violent there at the end and I, I, I like that kind of thing. Um, I, <laughs> I... I, I, I finished it and I sat back and I could still picture, when I closed my eyes, I could still picture the monster. The horns, the black fur, the gnashing teeth, all that. It's still very vivid in my head. Um, and I really like that. Also, the, the dialogue when the mother is fighting, is hollering and all that is going on, I thought that was really well done also. Um, I, there's just so much to the story that I liked. And I, I can't really fault it for anything. Um, and I, I'm honestly shocked. I'm kind of flummoxed and, and speechless because I was not expecting... And it sounds terrible, I know. It, it, the, you come to expect a certain quality out, out of indie publisher or indie writers. And whenever they, whenever they break, you know, the not the rules, but whenever they break that mold, I'm always so excited and I want to give them the, the utmost credit because there's so many people out there not even trying that when somebody does try, when somebody hires an editor or someone polishes their work over and over again and you can tell it, I just like to bring that out. And while this book may not be perfect, while Cameron still thinks that it is clunky writing there at the second half, it's an exceptional piece of work for what it is. Um, now, is it the, the same quality as like a traditionally published book? No, but he will get there eventually. Um, I have complete and utter faith in him. Also, when I brought up the, uh, the very small issues that I found, when I brought those up, he was very receptive. It's also nice to, you know, message somebody and say, hey, look, I found some errors, and then not tell you to go to hell. Um, that's also nice, because that has happened many times. So, Cameron, thank you for uh, being so receptive. I appreciate that. I also appreciate everything you do. Thank you for being an inspiration for me starting my channel. You know, there's just so so much that wouldn't have happened here had it not been for guys like you and Adam Cesar and Todd the Librarian and so many different people. So thank you so much. Um, and I hope that I can return that favor by helping you polish and clean up anything you want to send my way. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say for now. Uh, I really enjoyed your book, dude. Thanks. Bye.